Hello. Today I want to show you the Windsor & Newton Artists Oil Colour range. In 1892, Windsor & Newton were not only dedicated to making stable and permanent pigments, but they were also the first producer to publish the composition and the permanence of their colours. I'll start with Windsor Yellow. It's a warm, semi-transparent yellow and part of the yellow Hansa group of modern pigments developed in the early 1900s and named Windsor Yellow in the 1950s. At the end, I'll add some titanium white to these colours to show how excellent their tinting strength is. Also from the Hansa group is Windsor Yellow Deep, a clean, bright yellow pigment. Here's Windsor Lemon, a clear, bright yellow colour with excellent tinting properties. This is Windsor Orange, a single pigment, semi-opaque colour with excellent mixing qualities. Windsor Red is permanent and light fast, a warm mid-range red with orange undertones. Windsor Red Deep is a wonderful deep crimson red, also permanent and light fast. Here's an interesting one. Windsor Violet Dioxazine is a vivid mid-shade purple pigment. But when undiluted, it can be used as a deep black. It's a transparent coal tar pigment introduced to the range in the 1960s. The following colours are made up from a modern pigment called phthalo cyanine. To replace the unusable or hazardous pigments previously used. For instance, in 1822, genuine emerald green originally contained deadly arsenic. But this modern non-toxic version Windsor Emerald closely matches the original colour of bright, clean, opaque emerald green. Windsor Green Yellow Shade is a brilliant transparent green pigment with a yellow undertone. Windsor Green Thalo is also a brilliant transparent green but with this lovely blue undertone. Windsor Blue Green Shade is a deep intense blue with a green undertone you can see here. And finally this is Windsor Blue Red Shade which is a deep intense blue with a red undertone. The Windsor range has excellent tinting strength so here I'm mixing with titanium white to create beautiful tints. As you can see, there is a dramatic difference between the mass tone and the undertone and tinting. I hope you've enjoyed exploring these colours with me. Thank you.